Philippians chapter 3, verse number 12. Not that I have already obtained it, this goal of being Christ-like, or have already been made perfect, but I actively press on. For a few moments, on today, I want to encourage you from the subject, press on. Press on. And for a theme, the believer's mindset in pursuing God's promises must incorporate perseverance, determination, and a forward-looking perspective. Uh -huh. Tell your neighbor, press on. Press on. When I say press on today, I want you to understand that this is a moment of empowerment and a moment of encouragement. This moment of empowerment and encouragement we are dealing with on today because many times in life there are situations as we strive to do the will of God that cause us to rethink, rethink why we do what we do for the Almighty. Have you ever been there? Yes. Because understand, when we work for God, we must understand that opposition and struggle are inevitable. So when I say press on, hope, missionary Baptist church, I am personally encouraging you to simply hold on, Sister Regina, a little while longer. It is my desire that as we look to the hills uh -huh. from which our help comes, that we will be ready and willing to persevere. And that we will be motivated to continue moving forward in excellence. And that we will have the spiritual endurance to maintain and sustain a posture of hope even when we face adversity. My brothers and my sisters, pressing on, it signifies a commitment to a higher purpose that is within us. We recognize the importance of maintaining this determination for the greater good, directing our focus towards God and advancing steadily in our spiritual journey. This teaches us, my brothers and my sisters, that we should be moving forward. We should be moving forward in the things of God. And we should be moving forward, Deacon Woods, even in the midst of trying times. Amen. See, that's the time Amen. when we want to throw in the towel. Because sometimes things get a little hard and we want to quit. But that's not the time that we throw our hands up in defeat. That is the time when we throw up our hands in worship. Because yeah. all things work together for the good of those who love God. Do I got some folks up in here, up in here, who truly love God? Because all things Amen. work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. And those things that work for our good, sometimes they feel good and sometimes they don't feel good. But we have to continue to move forward and press on in the things of God. Yes, yes. And we go with the hope 
that in God there are going to be better days ahead. Tell your neighbor, press on. As believers, seeking to love God and to love one another. Yes, yes, yes. I'm gonna say that again. As believers, Amen. And Sister Lawrence, as believers, we should be striving Hallelujah. to love God and to love one another. But not only must we be loving God and loving one another, but we should be striving to worship him fully in every aspect of our lives. And as we worship him, our service to him should be done in excellence. We understand that changes will arise. Losses will occur. Uncertainty will be present. And the desire to give up may surface. But I come by here to encourage you on today to keep pressing on. Understand that these unexpected and challenging times are going to come our way. I guarantee it. That it's going to come our way. And Reverend Slater, you understand that tough times are going to try to knock us down. They may cause us to feel defeated. And the unexpected may cause us to feel like there's no way out. Sometimes we feel like there's no hope. And we feel like the struggles that we endure as the people of God will never cease. But I want to offer you encouragement on today, HMBC, reminding you that struggles are temporary. And trouble don't last always. See, we may be dealing with unexpected life changes, but I want you to be encouraged because struggles are temporary. And trouble don't last always. See, we may be feeling lost and uncertain about tomorrow, but be uplifted, HMBC, and tell yourself that struggles are temporary. And trouble don't last always. We may be facing financial difficulties. And we may be experiencing loneliness and isolation. But I want you to tell those challenges that you got to get up out of here. Because struggles are temporary. And trouble don't last always. Sometimes we struggle with self-doubt and insecurities. We may be dealing with trust issues due to our brokenness. We may be be, be in the midst of navigating difficult relationships. We may be finding it difficult to cope with our sorrow. And we may be dealing with changes in our living. And we understand that a weeping may endure for a night but I come back here to tell you at 12.01 a.m. Stand joy on the other side of our weeping. The songwriter says, just when I need him, Jesus is near. Just when I falter, just when I fear. See my God, he's ready to help and he's ready to cheer. See, he's right there. Just when I need him most. See, as we engage in ministry, we must grasp the concept that only only what we do for Christ will last. It is important to understand that what
while we are carrying out the work for Christ, yes. we, will, we will encounter challenges yes. along the way. Amen. I come back here to tell you that the road is not always going to be easy. But see, understand, Sister Beverly, that these challenges are not intended to bring us down. But they are placed in our way strategically for growth as we adhere to the teachings of Almighty God. In addition, facing struggles will inevitably we will inevitably experience disappointment. We will confront challenges and we will encounter setbacks. Well, HMBC, I'm here on today to offer you encouragement. Mm -hmm. See, no matter what difficulties we may be facing, just hold on, hold on. a little while longer. Yeah. And if you hold on long enough, your change is going to come. Yeah. Not only must we press on, and not only must we hold on, but we must have a mindset that despite the trials and despite the troubles, troubles, we are committed to living and acting according to the word of God. By persevering and remaining steadfast in our commitment to Christ, it is essential that we also maintain a forward-looking perspective. That means we look towards tomorrow. Yes. The songwriter says, I'm pressing on. Pressing on. The upward way. Yeah. New heights. I'm gaining. Amen. Every day. Still praying as I'm upward bound. Lord, plant my feet yeah. on solid ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's table land. A higher plane that I have found. Lord, plant my feet on solid ground. Do I got some folks that want God to plant their feet on solid ground? The author of our text on today is none other than the Apostle Paul. He was born Saul in Tarsus in the city in a, in a city in Cilicia which is modern day Turkey. The Apostle Paul, we understand, is a significant figure in the history of Christianity. Historical data lets us know that he was born into a Jewish family and held Roman citizenship. And because he had Roman citizenship, it gave him specific rights and protections. Despite his initial role as one who persecuted Christians, Tall Saul of Tarsus experienced a transformative event on the road to Damascus. Amen. According to the New Testament, a blinding light and the voice of Jesus led to his conversion. Amen. We understand that this epistle was written to believers in the Roman colony of Philippi. Amen. This epistle, in this epistle, Paul is encouraging the believers to embrace the joy found in the Lord and his kingdom regardless of their circumstances. 
Today I come by here to encourage you as you press on to embrace joy that the Lord has given us. And embrace the joy of being a part of his kingdom regardless of what we are enduring right now. And believe it or not, all of us are going through something right now. So it is our time to embrace the joy of the Lord even in the midst of our difficulties. I want you to understand that the joy that I'm talking about is an inward peace. Have you ever had an inward peace regardless of what life is throwing at you? And we understand that the Apostle Paul was well suited to engage in this subject matter because as he wrote this book to the Roman colony of Philippi, Brother Paul was incarcerated. Amen. So we understand that the overall theme of the book of Philippians is motivation, inspiration, upliftment, and empowerment in the midst of expected, unexpected, and problematic situations. The most important term for us on today is press on. Are y'all with me? The phrase press on from a biblical standpoint can be understood as an urging to persevere. Mm -hmm. An urging to endure and continually continuing to move forward regardless of challenges. And we all have challenges. To keep moving forward, Sister Regina, when we have setbacks. And we keep moving forward in spite of the obstacles that are placed in our way. My God. Our passage for today emphasizes the important, Brother Leon, of focusing on the future. Not only must we focus on the future. We must intentionally let go of past mistakes and failures. And as we let go of the past mistakes and failures, we continually strive for spiritual growth and the ultimate goal of eternal life in Christ. All right. But as believers, we understand that tomorrow isn't promised. Amen. But that doesn't mean we don't focus on making tomorrow better. Yes. I'm going to say that one more time. Tomorrow is not promised. But that does not mean that we don't prepare to make tomorrow better. Because there's somebody out there counting on you to make tomorrow better if you're here or not. It should be our mandate to do all that we can do today to ensure a better tomorrow. As we focus on making tomorrow better, we must learn to let go of the foolishness. We, we have to learn to let go of the foolishness. Let it go. 
We must learn to say goodbye to the nonsense. Amen. Amen. So we let go of the foolishness and say goodbye to the nonsense. And we push the failures of yesterday aside. While we are concentrating on the future and shedding past baggage, we must consistently and intentionally strive for spiritual and personal growth as we pursue the goal of eternal life. Yes. Are we pursuing the goal of eternal life? In this context, pressing on involves maintaining and growing your faith. And not only must you maintain and grow your faith, you must persevere. And while we persevere, we must be dedicated to implementing the teachings of Jesus Christ, even in the midst of challenges. Pressing on requires a commitment to spiritual growth and a continuous journey towards a deeper relationship with Jesus the Christ. By embracing Mother Woods, a mindset of pressing on, we can begin to overcome obstacles. Amen. Does any of us have obstacles that we need to get past? We need to continue to press on. By embracing a mindset of pressing, we don't focus on past experiences. But David, we learn from them. And let me throw this here parenthetically. We learn what to do and what not to do. By embracing a mindset of pressing, we can move forward individually and collectively in excellence with hope, Ray, and determination. It is imperative, Brother Jason, that we let go of the burdens of the past and focus on the potential of our future. And believe it or not, we have a future individually, and we got a future together. But we must lay aside the burdens and the issues and the nonsense and the foolishness of yesterday. And we focus on making tomorrow better. And we equip ourselves. To not only walk in the obedience or the holiness of God, but we walk to grow our faith as we pursue eternal life. So with all of that said, what are the qualities the believer embraces when striving to receive the promises of God, especially in the middle of life struggles and personal limitations. Uh -huh. Number one, we embrace, we must embrace perseverance in adversity. To claim God's promises the believer must persist in the face of difficulties and challenges. And not only must we persist in the midst of difficulties and challenges, we must remain steadfast 
in our faith and resolve no matter what. So point number one, we must embrace perseverance in adversity. But not only must we embrace perseverance in adversity, point number two, in all circumstances, we must embrace and have a tenacious determination for the things of God. When we have a tenacious determination for the things of God, we intentionally let the nonsense and the mess go. Understand that those seeking to grasp hold of God's promises must stand firm. And think of the sense that we stand firm without retreating. We stand firm without surrendering or allowing obstacles to hinder our pursuit. So point number one, we embrace perseverance in adversity. Point number two, we must embrace and have a tenacious determination for the things of God. But last but not least, if we desire to dwell in the overflow of God's favor, we must embrace, hear me clearly, a progressive outlook or a forward-looking perspectives in good times and in the bad times. All right. Deacon Woods, embracing the favor of God All right. necessitates looking ahead with hope Amen. and faith. And not only do we look ahead with hope and faith, but we have to let go of past struggles. We have to let go go. of past mistakes. We have to let go of past disappointments. We have to let go of our shortcomings so we can focus on the divine prize awaiting us. So if we're going to press on, we must persevere in adversity. Hallelujah. We must have tenacious determination. We must embrace a progressive outlook. All right. Missionary Trotter and the sweet, holy choir eloquently sing. I have a message just for you. This message is is, is in his word. So I know that it's true. It doesn't matter what you're going through because I know the Lord will see you through because trouble don't last always. Due to the fact, my brothers and my sisters, that trouble don't last always, we have the ability to succeed against all odds. If we are experiencing a disconnect on today, I want you to understand that we have the ability to succeed against all odds. If we find ourselves in the midst of unexpected and challenging times, don't give up. We have the ability to succeed against all odds. Despite facing adversity, we possess the strength 
to overcome. In times of suffering, remember our pressing leads to prevailing. When trials come, our capacity to triumph remains our prime objective. In the midst of challenging challenges, our potential for success remains intact. My brothers and my sisters, we can rejoice on today because we have the ability to succeed against all odds. See, the songwriter says, I'm standing on the promises I now can see perfect present cleansing in the blood for me standing in the liberty where Christ makes free I don't know about you but I'm standing on the promises of Almighty God we endure victoriously through our trials HNBC keep pressing we're standing on the promises of God stand firm in the midst of hard times we are pressing on we are standing on the promises of God Diamond I don't know what you're going through but keep pushing through because you're standing on the promises of Almighty God the fillers may roll the breakers may dance HNBC we're pressing on we're standing on the promises of Almighty God our momentum is increasing we are embracing healing over brokenness we are progressing diligently towards our goal. We select hope over discouragement. We are progressing diligently towards our goal. In God, we have the strength to persevere. We are choosing resilience and we're not selecting defeat. We are pressing on. We are standing on the promises of Almighty God. We have the strength to persevere because it's been secured by the blood of the Lamb. We possess the ability to withstand and overcome. It's been secured by the blood of the Lamb. We are steadfast in our ministerial approach. It's been secured by the blood of the Lamb. No more loneliness. No more excessive anger. No more backbiting. No more tattling. No more brokenness. No more stagnation. No more discouragement. Would you be free from the burden of sin? There's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. Would you over evil of victory win? There's wonderful power in the blood. My brothers and my sisters, since there's power in the blood, we continue to press on when we find ourselves drained from endless tears. We continue to press on in the midst of heavy burdens. We continue to press on when we find ourselves broken. If we are shattered, and the outlook looks grim when we find ourselves without one friend when we are debilitated and our bodies get weary if we feel like giving up if we are tired of being used and abused we can continue to press on because there's power power wonder work 
working power in the blood of the Lamb. Understand on today that I'm going to leave you alone. There's power to regulate your mind. There's power to make you whole. There's power to order your steps. There's power to lift you up. There's power to overcome. There's power to make your spirit. There's power to restore your faith. There's power as we face the unknown. There's power as we embrace challenges. There's power to conquer all your fears. There's power so you can change your dreams. There's power for you to stand in courage. There's power to eliminate your way. He has power to inspire. He has power to determine. He has power to ignite. He has power to your joy. He has power to comfort your soul. All you got to do is to keep your faith and never cease to pray. The walk of right, call of noon, day or night. See, I know without a doubt, he'll be there. He'll be there. Because there's no need to worry. Because my God, he never fails. I want you to understand there's power in the blood of my Jesus. If you're sick, don't stop moving because God never fails. If you get discouraged, don't stop pressing because God never fails. If you got struggle in your home, if you're sick in your body, if you feel like you're losing your mind, keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing. Because God, He never fails. Now, So number one, we must persevere in the midst of adversity. We must have a tenacious determination. And last but not least, we must intentionally embrace a progressive outlook. The songwriter says, I never worry. Deacon Woods, I never fret because God Almighty, He's never failed me yet. Hallelujah. I want you to understand I've been rebuked and I've been scorned, but praise God, I've been reborn. Hallelujah. For God, He never failed. Do I got five folks up in here, up in here, that can testify that God has never failed me yet? And because God has never failed you yet, keep pressing in the midst of adversity. Keep pressing in the midst of hardships. Keep pressing when the folks don't like you because God has never failed us yet. So I encourage you on today. Press on. Tell your neighbor, say, press on. Give them five and say, press on. Give them five on the backhand side and say, press on. The door of the church are open.